Yo, yo, what's up, what's up? Give yourself a hand clap. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the Raw Game Marketing YouTube channel. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. We on personal credit. Yes, we are on personal credit. Leave comments in the comments section. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe. Had a great workout today. I'm feeling good. I hope you're feeling good as well. Man, we finna go all the way to the top. This is 2024. New doors finna open. Our businesses are gonna take off as never before. We're gonna be more responsible. We're gonna do what we're supposed to do. We're gonna get more funding. Man, we just gonna have a great, great year for ourselves. Also, join my free school group, school.com, S-K-O-O-L. Look for Raw Game. R-A-W-G-A-M-E. I uh, appreciate that. It's a total free group where we're all going to share information. And I have people on there speaking about things you'll definitely want to hear. And I've been on the personal credit. And I'm just going to talk a little bit about utilization. How on your personal credit, how it can affect you. And it does affect you a lot. And some things that you could do to get out of, we, I'm going to call it utilization hell. So some things you could do, whether you want to do these things or not, are clearly up to you. Um, these videos are also just, the, these videos are just my personal opinion. And I'm just giving you strategies. There may be other strategies. And if you have any other strategies or any ideas, you can leave that in the comments as well. As other people will be watching. And we can learn from one another. I don't know it all. You don't know it all. But as a collective whole, we can put our minds together and we can achieve great things. As they say, many hands make light work. But we're going to, yeah, we're going to get to this personal credit. But once you get enough personal credit, as I stated, the thing is, is you want to get to business credit. So you want to stop applying for credit, personal credit, once you get enough personal credit. Once you build out that personal credit profile and it's sexy, it's grown and sexy, you want to leave that thing alone. You want to keep it grown and sexy. You don't want to apply for any more personal credit unless you really, really, really need to. But in most instances, you won't need to because... You could go after business credit. So you want to build your... And another thing, stop chasing a credit score. You know, people out here bragging, yeah, my credit score is this, my credit, my credit score is that, but they could just have authorized user or use the credit builder. It could be one of those non-funding credit score. But the thing is, you want to build that credit profile. You want to keep that credit profile focus i mean you want to keep that credit profile sexy i said focus so you want to focus on that the profile and then i'm gonna say never ever be late that's one of the hardest things to get off i know i've been preaching it i said it on some other videos but that take like seven years and then sometimes they got to delete the whole account that's one of the hardest things to get off is a late payment you know what I'm saying? You got focus on your profile and being on time and they got so much stuff. Just 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 enroll in uh auto pay. Just do that. So that way you won't even be late. You know what I'm saying? And then credit is to acquire assets and to bring income. All those Jordans and all that and Fendi, Gucci, if you got it, I mean, more power to you. It's not a problem and you can pay it back. Then, yes, you could use your credit card to make those purchases and acquire points to get more designer or travel for free or cash back. Then, yes, that's that's being smart about the situation. You know what I mean? So that's totally fine. But. Don't just be buying frivolous stuff and then you get into trouble, then you can't get out. You know what I mean? So that means you would have been and brought that stuff for nothing.
but I'm just going to uh, talk about some alternative ways, um, whether you want to use them or not, how you could get out of um, utilization. Um, okay, we're going to talk about 401k. Some of you guys got 401k plans, and if you're still with the company, you know you could borrow against it. As I was once with a company, and what you do is, you know, you got to pay yourself back. And they may charge you interest, but the good thing is the interest that you're paying, you it goes back to you. So that's an alternative that you could use. Then you can use um, life insurance plans. Some of you guys have life insurance plans where, you know, you can borrow the money and then pay it back. And that's an alternative you can use as well. You can use a home equity line of credit. You know, you can pull some money if your house is in uh, good standings and you can pull a little money down, pay that utilization down, and then until your business gets up and running, until you get a plan or generate some more money, you can do that. And like I said, these things are my um, just only ideas. You could get a business line of credit. You could get that, which won't affect your utilization because... The only way it'll affect your personal utilization is if you default and do it. You could get a business credit card. That's something else you could do with 0% interest. You know, you can roll that over and you could get um, a credit partner. You know, if you know somebody um, who you could trust or, or they trust you, you can bring to them. You can say, hey, you can hold the title on my car until I pay you back or... You guys can negotiate something and work that out. You could get a C-Lock, a credit, uh, personal uh, line of credit. I mean, you could do whatever you need to do to get out of it. Here go some other ways you can use. Now, these ways right here may be a little bit more, may cost you a little bit more, but some, that's the price you pay when you put yourself in a hole and you dig a hole for your situation, dig a hole for yourself this is still a way you could get out. You can use a debt consolidation loan, you know, which may be, uh, interest may be high on that. You can use a bridge loan, you know, or you can borrow money from a friend, but that may be cool depending on a friend. They may want a little bit of interest. And you can go to a, a credit union. That's a good idea. You could go to one of your credit unions if you have a credit union bank and you could get a business line of credit and then there may be other strategies that you guys may know of that you can leave in the comment box but these are just a few that you could use to get out of uh, utilization hell so uh try these out if you haven't heard of any of these try these out then next time if this situation comes about you'll know how to handle it and tackle it so you handle that utilization and acquire some more credit, business credit, until you get out of that utilization hill. And then once you're out, stay out. And like I said, keep that thing sexy.